Bitch is big. Bitch is big. No, man, I don't do what I'm told. They know I got that cook up, used to get it off the stove. Different days, same clothes, third down, ten toes. I did this with the stripes, knock you with. Alright, so we just argued for 10 minutes about how we should do an intro. She thinks we should do a corny intro, like everybody else does, and say some shit that's super corny, which I refuse. So we're going to start it okay. by saying, you're... <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a Q&A. So uh, I did it on paper. My sister actually did it. We should have did it on a laptop, but whatever. Okay. So first question... Let's let's look at let's start good. These are kind of like silly. Stop grabbing the questions from me, bro. Here. I'm in charge. Go here. You're not in charge. Start on this page. Right. How old are you? You go first. Okay. Because I don't want to fuck up an age and shit. Because I, sometimes I forget and I don't want to get in trouble. Well, I forget my own age. So how old are you? Thirty one. Yeah. I'm so. thirty. I'm turning thirty one. December thirty first. Yo, watch your elbow, my dude. You're pushing You're me all out of the camera. You're all up in my space. All the way over here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You want me to move it a little? Like, Just move what? over. Move over a little. And that's what I was trying all right, to do. All right. Shh. All right. How long have you been married? <laughs> Since 2015. So 15, five years. 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18. So five years. Yeah. Cool. How long have you been? TG? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, together. How long have you been together? We've been 15 together. Years. 15 years. About, yeah, give it a 15 years. Mm -hmm. Too long. When are you having another baby? Never. That's such a lie. Why are you lying? I wanted a third baby, but He's I He's mean lying. We had just talked the other day, and the agreement <coughs> is we're going to start again next September. No, it wasn't an agreement. That was the agreement. You, you spoke and I nodded. I'm like, yeah. that's not an agreement. September, we're going to start again. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. I I'm not ready for that. a third child. I'll get you a dog. There'll be four. Our dog. kids will be four and five. I'm getting you a dog. When the next baby comes, it'll be fine. They'll both be in school. They'll be older, more mature. It'll be good. I don't want a dog. How did we meet? Uh, we met in high school, in 10th grade. How do we meet? Latisse introduced us. In 11th grade. 10th grade. Latisse introduced um, us in 10th grade. Well, I don't remember meeting 11th you in 10th grade. grade. Okay, it was 11th grade. I'm sorry. Latisse introduced us in 11th yes. grade. Do you speak Spanish? Yeah, I speak Spanish. No, I don't. She's not Spanish. I speak Spanglish. She's not Spanish. Best relationship advice. <clears throat> this is a good one. Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll answer this. How about I answer it? So every relationship is going to go through hardship. You have to figure out, you know, if that person is worth it to you to go through that hardship. I feel like nowadays a lot of people just give up and they kind of like when it gets hard, they're just out and they end the relationship. And that's you're never going to find your true person if you do that. Like we've been together since we were 16 and 17 years old and we've been through so much and we don't have a perfect relationship nobody has a perfect relationship anybody who's out there telling you they got a perfect relationship is front at the end of the day as long as you respect each other and i we've been working hard at like not going to bed mad at each other that's something that we recently been working on um and that you constantly just try to meet each other halfway right that's solid uh, <clears throat> I'm not answering that one. <clears throat> no. Are you high school sweethearts? We are. We are high school sweethearts. We met in high school. 11th grade. <laughs> <laughs> I said that already. Ugh. On the Xbox dance battle, who would win? I don't know. I, you have some pretty good moves, but depends you, you, on what kind of dance You have one battle. move. Bend that's over and true. shake your ass. That's your only move. That's not true. Yes, that's your only move. Your only move is go like this and shake your ass. It's your only move. So I'm most definitely a better dancer than you. That's a fact. That's not my only move. That's your only move, bro. No, it's not. It's your only move. No. Okay. You know what your only move is? What's my only move? I have several <laughs> you moves. You have one? No, I have several moves. You have two moves. moves. I got moves. Your shoulders? I got so many moves. You have your shoulders? I got moves in my body, <laughs> moves in my arms. I have fucking moves everywhere, bro. So don't, don't, Whatever. don't shit okay, on me. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, where do you live? We live in Long Island. 
<laughs> I don't want to be specific. Long Island, New York. All right. Italian or Mexican food? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Hard. Probably Italian. Italian food. I don't know. We don't get Mexican that much. That's true because we, I have. I feel Italian, like we haven't like found like that hit. Mexican. Yes, we have. The one down the block is fire. What are you mm. talking about? They sell the best tacos in the world. No, the best nachos we ever had was in Cancun. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, you're talking about what was it called? What was this spot? Margarita. Though. Margarita. Yeah, mm. it's pretty solid. Would you rather be blind or oh. deaf? I'd rather be deaf. Me too. I don't, I don't think I would. hear your bullshit. But I can still see you, but I don't got to hear your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Well, to me, I just, I, I don't think I could live not seeing. Yeah, I'd rather see. Yeah. Even though I'm going blind without my glasses, I can't see a fucking thing. I wear contacts, but I'm blind as fuck. How do you keep your relationship fresh? I think we keep it fresh because we just keep things light and fun. We don't take things so serious. Especially now, everybody takes everything so fucking serious. Mm -hmm. Everything's so ridiculous, but... You have to keep it light. Yeah, like I mean, life, life is hard enough. Yeah. Life is hard enough. There's already... Everybody's going through some wild shit, so... You just gotta keep it light, like she said. And fun. That's what, most important. What kind of dog are we getting? Uh, we are getting a French bulldog from my boy Tease, who, uh, has a breeding business. It's bully season. Fire, check him out. It's bully season on Instagram. What nationality are you? Me? Yeah, you go my first. My family is from Trinidad. Yeah, she's not Spanish. Everybody thinks she's Spanish. She's West yeah. Indian. But I was born here. And I am Puerto Rican and Colombian. What are your tattoos on your chest? It's an unfinished tattoo, and it's... Heaven, hell theme. It's not done yet. I gotta finish the middle. Uh, what do you do for a living? None of your business. <laughs> you can tell what you do for a, for a living. That's alright. I'm basically in the education field. She's a secretary. <laughs> no, I'm fronting. I'm just joking. I know you're not. You got an important job. I'm just fronting. I'm just joking. I love French toast or pancakes? Uh, I would have to say French toast. Yeah, sometimes French those toast. pancakes are like really dry. Yeah, French toast, definitely. Coke or Pepsi? I guess, yeah, Coke over Pepsi for sure, but. Yeah, Coke, I would prefer Coke, water. Coke is my shit. I love Coke. I gotta stop drinking it. Yeah. I'm a fat animal. Okay, skip that, skip that. I just right. wanna shout them pizza, out. <laughs> pizza or tacos? Um, mm. Pizza. I eat pizza all the time. I love tacos though. I could throw around a bunch of tacos, but pizza. How, uh, I'm not answering that. Phobia. <clears throat> I don't know. I have a lot of weird phobias. I'm not specifically scared of anything, but sometimes I can't sleep at night thinking about life and different things that I'm afraid of happening. I won't even speak it into existence. I think that's what your phobia is. Your phobia is of horrible things happening to people that you love. Well, it's because all the horrible shit has happened. I feel like I have bad luck. No? No, because you've gotten through it. If you didn't get through it, then yes. Yeah, but then it makes you paranoid that something traumatic is going to happen again. Every traumatic thing you've gotten through. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm scared of traumatic <laughs> shit happening. Because it keeps happening. What do you do to get through arguments? We don't speak for a little bit. Right? That's the truth. We'll stop talking for... Until we both cool down. And then we'll come back. And whoever's wrong will apologize. I feel like that's been our new thing. Yeah, I mean. And I think that that's the hardest thing for people to put down their pride and apologize when they're wrong. And that took us a long time because there was one point where you would never apologize. And now. I'm a different person now. I'm a better man. <laughs> I'm a better man. Facts. I'm not the best man, but I'm a better man. So. <clears throat> What do you think about everybody telling you that you're a nine and I'm a five and I need to fucking relax? That's what the guy said. That's what he said. He said, you're a five. She's a nine. You need to fucking relax. You're a ten in my eyes, baby. What the fuck does that even mean, my dude? You calling me a five? <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. I'm not a five. Is that it? I'm like an eight. All right, so what's your phobia? Hmm. Obviously... I think same as you. I'm scared of things happening, but I'm a little bit more positive than you are. Um, 
but I'm terrified of tsunamis. Yeah, she has a fucking weird fear of a big wave taking I don't know. her out. <laughs> I have nightmares She'll, about tsunamis. She, she's literally woken up and been like, I had a horrible dream last night. I don't know what, I was hanging out in a hotel, I was taking a shit, and a wave just came out of nowhere and fucking took me out, Kevin. I was underneath, I could feel it. I could feel the water in my lungs. No. Yes, you've, yes. It's literally... <laughs> that's, that's literally what, what you no. said to me. I get away from the, the tsunami, but it's always me climbing up this big, like, cliff. And the tsunami coming. What does that even fucking me? mean, bro? She's the worst, yo. She used to wake up in the middle of the night and scare the shit out of me. She'd wake me up at 3 o'clock in the morning yeah. and be like, Kevin! <laughs> I'd be like, what? And you'd be like, the ceiling's dripping. Well, I used to what hallucinate. What the fuck does that even mean? Or you'd be like, there's a spider in a corner. I used to hallucinate. Remember when I used to see eyes, like someone staring at us? And yeah, I would that... legit see it. Like I would legit see somebody yeah. looking at us, but I would be like so calm. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't freak you out. She's fucking weirdo. <laughs> All right, so that's your phobia? Big ass tsunami? Yeah. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> I swear. I mean, what else is there really? Uh, there's so many things to be scared of, but I feel like if you let it control your life, then what's... I just want to say something, too. Stop talking about my fucking nostrils. I can't do anything about it. These are nostrils that Jesus gave me. All right? I have a good sense of smell. Don't talk about my fucking nose. <laughs> Leave my fucking nose alone, you fuckers. Aww. Did you? Did, we did a fucking we did a video for G Fuel in the comments. And the G Fuel fucking kid said it looks like that fucker could smuggle cans in his nostrils. What a fucking animal! You fucking twelve year olds <laughs> are savages, bro. You're ruthless. You don't give a fuck about anybody's feelings, <laughs> fuckers. How many kids we got? How many kids do we have? We have. Two boys. I have three. He's one of them. Yeah, whatever. We have two boys. Uh, yeah. A three-year-old and a two-year-old. Still um, babies. They're the best. I love those boys. They saved my life. I say that all the time. You do. Um, but you also say I saved your life. So I mean, I you kind of saved my life. Like, a little bit. I mean, I, I guess. I mean, you can kind of take a little bit of the credit. Because of me... You were the person that you were for your kids. What fucking riddle was that? <laughs> we have uh, my mother-in-law taking care of the kids because all you couples who do this shit all the time with kids, I don't know how to fucking do it. Because there's no parents. way, there's no way we would be able to do it with them here. Yeah, they'd be savages. KJ would probably take the camera and fling it across the fucking living room. Caden probably start would chewing be on right it. Here. You're, yeah, you're never... describing them like they're animals. They are animals. No, they're not. Hold on, Lotsy's just calling me. Yo, we're doing a vlog right now. What up? Say something for the people. <laughs> nah, say something for the people. Don't be a bitch. All right, Christmas time, original. Um, hmm. Nah, I got. I, I, nah, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything. You already shot. She shouted I'm, I'm you too, out. I'm too rated. I'm too rated R. Nah, you go, this is rated R, bro. This ain't PG-13. Nah, this is rated R, bro. I'm too rated R. What's up? You're doing a vlog now, though? Yeah, we're doing a vlog now. I'll hit you in a little bit. Well, Christmas time, you have your puppy. How about that? Nice. You hear that? Yeah. Christmas time, I, I have my puppy. Yeah, call, call me when you can, though, for real. All right, my nigga, later. All right, bro. Um, <clears throat> so we're getting a puppy. All right, guys, so we just you, we want to say thank you for all the support. All right, guys, so uh, as we're signing off, we just want to say thank you for all your support. We appreciate all the love. Um, we're going to be doing this more often, hopefully dropping, you know, something every week. It's not going to be like this, us sitting down. It's kind of just going to be a day in the life type thing, going through our daily routines and all the crazy shit we're doing. Um, and let so, us know yeah. what you want to see. Yeah. All right, guys, later.